Alright, folks, we are back in action. And after that action, Preston Radcliffe. Take your passport and your matches. Honestly, I've never really gotten any farther than this. Uh, I've never even left this starting area. Um, every time the recording has corrupted or something went wrong with it. Nothing on you, huh? Merwin Tumblebook. Things on you. Some steel. I really need that much. Filament. Isaac. Isaac! You have a broken camera. And a thermometer! I'm gonna always hit escape there, I know I am. Why are we locking it? Why do, why do sometimes we run and sometimes we don't? It's alright. Oh, you're... Are you blind? What in God's... I, I mean, better oh. luck next time. Oh, I don't have my weapon equipped. Oops. Um. Feel my wrath, beast. Yes. Everything is governed by this fatigue thing, and fatigue is extremely important. Fatigue is everything. Um, if you... Oh, I forgot to buy a quarterstaff. That's what I... For Shit. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, uh, go kill it. <laughs> Leave me alone. Eh. You know what? Fine. I don't want her apology. Ah! No. Magic spells. Harm. Oh, and if you walk around, I found out, while in combat mode, it will drain your fatigue. So, uh... And when your blue meter, your fatigue hits zero, you pass out. Yes, you actually pass out. So, uh, running out is really bad. Also, I do have installed the um, unofficial patch. Uh, you know, it's a fan base patch to help with some of the crashing issues, along with uh, just some minor textural improvements. Uh, what I like about it is that it's done everything to keep the integrity of the original graphics and everything um, in play. Uh... Harm. But make sure that you click that little shield off, otherwise your life is miserable. And you don't need that gold, so I'm gonna take it. Honestly, folks, this is as far as I have ever gotten. I have never gotten past this point before. Every time, well, because most of my recordings have only been 15 minutes, and including the character creation and everything, this was as far as I've always gotten. Yeah. Alright. I kicked it. Feel my magic, beast. Remember the first time, actually, it was kind of good that my first video of this didn't get put up. Uh, I didn't realize the whole combat thing, and I, very silly, I, uh, I was walking around while in combat mode, and my character kept passing out, and I couldn't figure it out. Uh, we want harm again. It seems to be the way to go. I feel like a force of nature. Jeez, I'm just ripping crap apart. What is... are you a survivor? Oh shoot, I'm in combat mode. Oh, what the hell are you? Oh god, what are you? Leave me! A kite shaman. Alright. Face my horn! Oh god, I can't do another one. Okay, good. Attacks him. 
I'm out of fatigue. I love early game. my inventory, can I? Inventory? <sighs> you actually dropped your weapon. You fail. Oh god, do you fail. Can I get out of combat mode? <gasps> wow, I'm sorry folks, this is really embarrassing. The game actually is very good from everything I've read. I'm just... I, I'm, I had a bit of a shaky start. Oh my god. <laughs> Get up! It shows I have fatigue. Oh no, that's him, Virgil. Come on, Virgil! probably want to grab your staff again. Oh god, is the wolf engaging him too? Can I really not get up? I mean, I'm, am I this pathetic? Just go and nap, guys. Why's that goblin? Virgil's kicking some butt here, but... Nice! Good job, Virgil! Kick the wolf! <laughs> yes! Out of combat mode. <laughs> well. You gonna grab your staff again and... <laughs> oh god, that's embarrassing. I'm sorry, folks. It's really embarrassing. What is this? He's got a little dagger thing on him. A kite sword. Well, what the hell? I mean, I can use it. Um, actually, folks, what you saw there was uh, me purposefully doing that. I wanted to show you what happens when you run out of fatigue. Um, you know, some of you may have been interested in why the dangers... No, I, I'm completely talking out of my ass right now. It's a scout. Well, my friend, face the harm. And a sword strike. Ow. Uh, uh. My harm loosened him up. Is there a map? I guess there is. Okay, we, we, we kind of want to get rid of it right now, though. I'm going to fall over again. Can I skip a turn? I don't think I have enough. <laughs> Come on, get up. Get up. <laughs> and so the legend of Togoth, the great wizard, begins. Oh god! Oh god, Virgil! Help me! Help me, Virgil! <laughs> he 
he's unconscious? Why are you unconscious? His fatigue is out. Hang on, Virgil. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. Out of combat. Come on, Virgil. Buddy. Come on. Rise and shine. Virgil. Well, you, you hang out there for a bit. I'll come back to you. Virgil, you can stand up now. Really? What's up with him? I wonder if that's not a glitch or something. Why is he not gaining fatigue back? It's alright, I'll explore without him. Don't need him. Hi, Virgil. The controls are a bit funky to can you know get used to at first, but uh, as I said, everything I've heard of this game is been fairly positive. I mean, your your controls and everything are somewhat dated, but that's kind of to be expected for a bit older of a game. The altar should clear things up for us a bit. Hmm. It says, uh... And the spirit of Nazaradan shall be reborn on wings of fire in hills shrouded in fog, and fight the last battle with the evil one. And the evil one. Who is that? <sighs> I'm sorry, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess we better find out, considering you're supposed to fight him. That's probably a good idea. Virgil? Yes, of course. <laughs> right. Did I get more points? I did get another point. Alright, so why don't we throw it... Hold there! What are you doing up here? Good God, man. Uh, I just survived a blazing inferno. I mean no disrespect, to, sir, but I don't trust this bastard one bit. Bloody convenient he just happened to show up here just now, don't you think? Oh, excuse my language, uh, sir. Well, didn't you just happen to show up there? Just, you know, just saying pot, kettle, kettle, pot. I've uh, dealt with buggers, uh, <laughs> individuals like this before. Perhaps you'll let me talk with him for a few minutes. Feel free. Thank you. Uh, I'll take care of this. <clears throat> you there! What exactly are you doing up here? And what gives you the right to ask so many questions? I'm just... Uh, I'm just asking simple question. What are you two doing up here? I'm from Shrouded Hills, a village not far from here, and I witnessed this terrible accident. Is it such a crime to wonder what exactly is going on? Oh, really? Listen, I came from Shrouded Hills myself. It's at least a day's journey from here. There's no way you could have traveled here that fast. I think you're lying, sir. I, uh, I didn't come from Shrouded Hills just now. I was camping not far from here and saw the blaze. Why are you questioning me? I've done you no harm. No, I don't think you understand. I'm asking the questions here, and I don't like your answers. I'm going to ask you one more time. Why are you here? I don't recommend you speak to me that way, friend. I've just asked a question, I'm expecting it, and I'm expecting an answer. We can make this simple or more difficult. Oh, I think difficult is the best way, sir. I find that there's fewer questions afterwards. 
I'm ready to begin this discussion whenever you are. Perhaps this is a discussion we'll have later, friend. I'm sure that this issue will be resolved in time. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> that, that was close. What do you mean, Virgil? He was obviously scared of you. That man very well could have killed us both. Believe me, I've seen his kind before. So why did you provoke him? <laughs> it was all bluster. I'm no bloody warrior. But sometimes you have to be able to act the part. You learn such things on, on well, um, it's just something I've learned. Fear is a powerful weapon. Something is very wrong here. I think we'd best get out of here as soon as possible. Let's go then. All right, folks, time for me to cut off. As always, thank you very much for watching, and tune in the next episode. As always, uh, thanks for watching, folks.